How's it going guys? I'm Daniel from Daniel PT and today we're about to do the most effective exercises that you can do with the bands for the legs. In today's workout we're going to be having two blocks of exercises. Each block contains six movements, each movement for 40 seconds long, followed by 20 seconds rest in between and we're going to be performing each block for two rounds in a row. I also want to thank FitBeast for sponsoring this video. If you're searching for some decent resistant band sets, I'm going to leave the link below. Make sure that you're checking it out. Alright, before you start, make sure that you do the proper warming up and stretching because right now we're going to get started with the first exercise of block number one. Alright, block number one, exercise number one, we're going to be starting with an effective compound exercise for the legs which is called deadlift. We're going to be having the band double under our feet, your feet as wide as your shoulder width, maybe a little wider. You're going to be dropping your hips, knees are going slightly to the other side, to the chest up from here. We're going to bring it up, lock it in, breathe in and we're going to come low. Ready? in five, four, three, two, one, here we go. We've got the shoulders on the side, chest is up and dropping the hip low and making sure that the knees are not coming to the inner side. With this one we are targeting the quads, glutes, lower back and of course because we are holding the bands also the forearms are being trained as well. Here we go. Bring it up, nice and controlled down. Bring it up, nice and controlled down. One, two, down. Bring it up, one, two, great job. All right, from deadlifts, we're gonna be switching to sumo deadlifts. So, you have the loop around the feet. Now we're gonna go in a wider position, close to the outer side. We're gonna be grabbing the band, knees also in this case to the other side, hips are low, grab it tight, keep your chest up, bring it up, one, two, down, lock it in, one, two, down, one, two, down, perfect, lock it in, now we have more engagement of the glutes, bring it up, one, two, down, keep your chest up, so basically the position of your upper body is not changing that much. Dropping from the hips and lock it in. Drop it low, lock it in. Heels against the ground, one, two, perfect job, all right. Switching to the third version of the deadlifts, in this case we're going to be switching to the stiff leg deadlift. So, once again, feet as wide as your shoulder width. You're gonna come up. This time, you're gonna have that rotation from the hips. We're sending the hips backwards. Now we're focusing more on the hamstring, glutes, and the lower back. One, two to the front. Bring it up. One, two to the front. Create that stretch. Squeeze. One, two, and squeeze. One, two, there you go, two, and bring it up, one, two, bring it up, focus on your hamstring, perfect job, really good, all right, from all the deadlifts now we're switching to the reverse lunges, we're going to have the band once again double under one foot, we're going to be grabbing it a little tight. Chest up, we're going to take giant step backwards and we're leaning into our front leg. So one, two, squeeze. Upper body, you're leaning slightly to the front. So you're creating that stretch in the glutes. One, two, lock it in, perfect. One, two, lock it in. If you want more tension, just grab it a little lower and you can just continue with more resistance. Here we go. One, two, lock it in. Come on. One, two, lock it in. One, two, perfect job. Now, of course, we're going to be switching from side, from one leg to the other one. So, under your foot, bring it up. Three, 
two, one, here we go. Lock it in, one, two, down. Stretch the glutes, one, two, down. Even if you're coming in the lower position, in this position, you should have still the tension in the band. If you don't have it, grab it even lower. So you're gonna make the exercise more effective. Come on, bring it low, squeeze on top. Bring it low, squeeze on top. Here we go. Bring it low, squeeze on top. Bring it low, perfect job. All right. Now we're gonna be switching to the squats. In this case, we're gonna have the band around the neck. We're gonna stand on the band. We're gonna go a little wider to make sure that we are remaining in one straight line. Arms straight to the front, coming low, pressing up. Coming low, knees to the outside, dropping the hips. One, two, squeeze. One, two, squeeze, great. One, two, bring it up, perfect. One, two, bring it up. Of course, if you want more tension, you can switch to some thicker bands. One, two, squeeze, perfect. One more, one, two, bring it up. Great job. Be careful with the bands. All right. Great job guys, round number two, exercise number one. I'm gonna demonstrate it this time from the side. Once again, we're gonna be switching to the deadlifts. So, dropping the hip, keep the chest up, shoulders on the side, lock it in, one, two, down. Lock it in, one, two, down. Lock it in, if you want more tension, let's go a little wider, and here we go. Lock it in. One, two, down. One, two, down. Perfect. Bring it up. One, two, down. Bring it up. One, two, down. Keep your chest up. You feel the tension also in the lower back. The quads. Yes, awesome job. All right. Once again, switching to the sumo deadlift. So, we're gonna be grabbing the midsection. We're gonna be dropping low. Make sure that you have enough resistance, of course. Just stop. Here we go. Heels against the ground. One, two, lock it in. One, two, lock it in. Squeeze your butt while you're coming up. There you go. One, two, squeeze. Hips are going backwards slightly to the front. In one straight line with the rest of your body. Bring it up. The chest up. Stay proud and make sure that you're having the constant tension in the legs, in the lower back. One more. One, two. Awesome job. All right. Whew. 15 seconds. And of course, once again, switching to the stiff leg deadlift. So, we're gonna have a double, we're gonna stand on it. All right, once again, rotation from the hips. One, two, squeeze. One, two, squeeze. Nice and controlled, hold that tension. Squeeze, perfect. One, two, bring it up. One, two, bring it up. Watch out for the knees, you're not coming to this inner side. Just keep them in one line with your feet. One, two, and up. Come on, one, two, and up. One, two, awesome job. All right, whew. Once again, switch into one leg, reverse lunges. So, we're gonna get low, we're gonna adjust the band, we're gonna grab the band side. All right, get the chest up, 
Here we go. Bring it up. Nice and let's roll down. Squeeze. Lean slightly to the front, but make sure that your back is still in one straight line. Coming down, locking it in. Come on. Coming down, squeeze on top. Glute is on fire. Come on. Bring it up. 15 seconds. One, two. You're not pulling with your arms. Let the front leg take care of it. One, two. Squeeze on top, perfect. One, two, awesome. Be careful, that's really good. Of course, we're gonna be switching side. Doing exactly the same with the other leg, of course. All right, keep your chest up, get ready. Here we go. Lock it in, one, two, down. Breathe out. One, two, down. Come on. One, two, down. Squeeze. One, two, down. He's stay into your front leg. So you're not leaning back. You're staying right over here, holding that tension and teasing the quad and the glutes. Come on, five, four, Three, two, one. Awesome job. All right, release, good. One more left. The band around it, around your neck. Whew. 10 seconds, of course. We're gonna stand on the band. Arms straight to the front. One, two, one. Two. Keep your heels against the ground. You're pushing your butt backwards. Not too much. Neutral. One, two. There we go. Open up the hips. Knees slide to the other side. Squeeze on top. One, two. To the chest up. One, two. Squeeze up. Come on, almost there. One, two. Bring it up, one, two, bring it up. All right, great job, end of block number one. We're gonna be having one minute rest, then we're starting with our second block. I'm gonna see you after a minute. All right, block number two, now we're gonna shift the focus from the compound exercises to the biggest muscle group of the human body, which is going to be the glute muscle. Before you start, make sure that you're adjusting one of your bands to something solid and something low. In this case, as you can see, I'm gonna be using my dumbbells. Make sure that the Thing that you're using for adjusting your band to it is not going to move and it's going to be safe. You want to grab another band with that one we're going to be starting with the first exercise which is going to be banded hip thrust. You're going to have it around your feet, you're going to pull the band over your knees and you're going to position it against your hip. From here you are having your heels against the ground, you're thrusting your hips towards the ceiling, you're going to hold it while you have your hips, knees, and shoulders in one straight line for a second, nice and controlled, you're gonna bring it down. And you're gonna be, of course, engaging your glutes, a little bit of hamstring, and lower back, you're gonna throw it as well. Ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Thrust up, one, two, down. Hold it on top, there you have the most tension. One, two, down, perfect. Breathe out. One, two, down. There you go. Press up. One, two, down. Great job. In the air. One, two, down. Hold that tension. Squeeze the butt. One, two, down. Perfect. Bring it up. One, two, down. Here we go. Bring it up. One, Two, perfect job. All right, get rid of the band. Now we're gonna be switching to the other band. We're gonna go into it. And once again, we're gonna be doing the hip thrust, but this time we're gonna do it seated. So you have it against your hip. You're gonna come two, three steps to the front. From here, you're having your shoulders in one straight line with your knees. 
hips are going backwards and coming to the front. So basically the same movement, but this time we're doing it seated. So one, two, stretch the glutes, bring it up, squeeze them. One, two, breathe out. One, two, breathe out, nice. One, two, one, two, and squeeze. One, two, squeeze. One, two, perfect job. All right, be careful. I'm gonna stand up. For the next one, you're gonna keep the band on the same spot. You're coming to the front. We're gonna be switching to the reverse lunges alternating. In this case, because we are being pulled from behind, we're gonna be engaging once again the glutes even more. So, take a joint step backwards, squeeze on top. Going back, squeeze, perfect. Going back, squeeze, bring it back. Coming to the front, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, all the way up, all the way down. And make sure that the knee in the front is going slightly to the outer side. So you're really opening up the hip and you're really making sure that the glute is engaged. Three, two, one. Perfect job. All right. Once again, 15 seconds rest. Of course, we're gonna be switching once again to the same position. But the next exercise is going to be the squat. We did it already, but this time we're gonna be being pulled backwards. On the straight to the front. One, two, and you're gonna press up. One, two, pressing up, perfect. One, two, pressing up. As you can see, I'm having my upper body even more to the front because basically the band is pulling me back. So I'm using my arms to create that balance that I'm not going backwards or falling backwards. One, two, perfect job. One more, awesome. All right, now we're gonna be switching to the next one. We're gonna be doing the glute kickback. So, you have it once again under our feet, your hands in front of your shoulders. You're gonna engage your core. You're gonna isolate the movement by not moving the rest of the body. Only with one leg, you're gonna kick back, rolling it, one, two, nice and controlled. Kick back, a little rotation on top. One, two, bring it back. Kick back, hold that tension. One, two, and make sure while you're kicking back, you're not turning from the hips that much. So really engaging your core. One, two, nice and controlled. Straight line, you're gonna kick back. One, two, bring it to the front. Breathe out. One, two, to the front. Breathe out. One, two, awesome job. All right, be careful. Now, of course, we're gonna be switching side, doing exactly the same with the other leg. So get in the position. Nothing crazy. Get ready. In three, two, one. Here we go. Bring it back. One, two, to the front. Bring it back. One, two, to the front. A little rotation. Straight leg in the air. One, two, bring it back. Hold that tension. One, two, back. As you can see, while my Knees coming to the front, I still have the tension in the back. Here we go. Kick back, hold that tension. One, two, back. Kick back, hold it. One, two, come on. One more. Kick back, hold it. One, two, awesome job. All right. Now we're gonna be once again switching to the other band. The first exercise again. So, right over here, we're gonna pull it over the knees. All right, get ready, here we go. Bring it up, one, two, 
Nice control down. Make sure that you're still having the tension in the air. One, two, down. Come on, thrust in the air. One, two, breathe in, engage the core and squeeze. One, two, and bring it up. One, two, and squeeze on top. Come on. One, two, here we go. In the air. One, two, perfect. Come on. In the air. One, two, awesome job. All right, get rid of the bands. And we're gonna be switching to the next one. Going into the band. Against the hip. Two, three steps to the front. Two, one. Hands on the hips. Here we go, coming to the front. One, two, squeeze the glutes while you're coming up. And you're gonna stretch them. Here we go, to the front. One, two, stretch. One, two, stretch. Here we go, bring it up. One, two, stretch. One, two, stretch, awesome. Here we go. One, two, stretch and squeeze. Hold it for one, two seconds. One, two, hold it. Great job, all right. Hands on the ground. Carefully, you're gonna stand up. You're gonna come backwards. Keep the band on the same spot. Once again, we're gonna be switching to the alternating reverse lunges while the band is pulling us backwards. So three, two, one. Here we go, bring it back and up. Bring it back and up, squeeze back. As you can see, once again, I'm having my shoulders, basically one leg with my knees. I'm coming to the front slightly. So I'm really stretching the glutes while I'm coming down. And squeezing them when I'm coming on top in the air. One, two, squeeze. Hold that tension. One, two, squeeze. One, two, squeeze. One, two, squeeze. Great job. All right. 50 seconds. Once again, switching to the pulled squats. So, once again, band on the same spot. Coming to the front. He was against the ground. Arms to the front. One, two, squeeze. Perfect. One, two, bring it up. One, two, drop it low. One, two, perfect. Opening all the hips, knees to the outer side. One, two, bring it up. Squeeze the butt cheeks. Poof. One, two, come on. One, two, bring it up. One, two, squeeze. Great job, all right. And of course, switching to the glute kickbacks. Left and right. In this case, right and left, all right. If you want, of course, more resistance, you're gonna go more backwards. If you want less, you're coming to the front. Hands in front of the shoulder, engaging the core. Here we go. Kick back, hold that tension. One, two. As you can see, while I'm coming to the front, I'm having, I'm having my knee just above the ground. Bring it back. Nice and control, just above the ground. And kick back. One, two. Hold it. One. Two, hold it, perfect. One, two, Whew. one, two, kick, one more. One, two, yes. Oh, so control back, on the ground, nothing crazy. All right, we're switching side, of course. You have it in the mix session of your foot. Hands on the ground, engaging the core, lifting the leg, here we go. Kick back, one, 
two, and yes, one, two, and one count. Kicking back, holding attention for one second. One, two, hold attention. There is a spot that you feel the most in the lower back and the glute, of course. One, two, hold it, perfect. One, two, straight back, straight into the air. One, two, one, two, awesome job. Nice control to the front. Great job guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you're liking the video. And of course, if you're doing this workout, let me know in the comment section how it went. I'm gonna see you next time with another challenging one. Till then, stay safe, have a nice day, and bye-bye.